Hey, Mr. Police Man, I seen you shoot my best friend down. But well, don't you just hang around? Uh. Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to the mental house, the crazy house. These stories just, I mean, I, us as a society, sometimes I wonder if the frequency that we're on is just too much for our mentals to handle. Some of y'all might be saying what I mean by that. If this ain't the worst Keystone Cop story that you heard, then give me another one. Because this one right here really ruffled my feathers. And, you know, I... I'm used to the police shooting unarmed uh, citizens, uh, getting off on them, and whatnot. But this is one of them stories where you feel like going to the department and just firing everybody. Okay? Let me share this with y'all. First of all, let me say that Milwaukee only has like three black cities and i mean uh wisconsin i'm sorry and that is kenosha beloit racine and of course milwaukee well there's a few flies in the buttermilk up in madison but you know it's not what we would call you know a predominantly black city like the ones i just named now let me I have to just calm down before I even read this story because it's so damn crazy. Two suspects blocked in a Milwaukee police squad car on Monday with officers inside and restole the damn vehicle that the police were trying to recover. I can't make this up. I cannot make this madness up. Now, it was bad enough that I did a story, you know, not too long ago where the police were uh, sitting, c c squad car was on the corner, and I guess they were catching up on their notes. And then you had some brazen young people start doing donuts around the vehicle, doing donuts around the police car. Of course, they did nothing. They didn't get out. They didn't try to apprehend them. The dudes made the donuts and went around zigzag all kinds of ways and then took off while the police were watching. I said, oh, my God. These brazen, fearless of consequences, that's what it is. They ain't, they ain't even worried about the consequences because y'all let them get away with madness for so long. Uh, out on their own recognizance, and they done st uh, stole a car and crashed. You got one young man who got like 90-something stops by the police with no license. I mean, it, it's just so insane. But anyway, we were told by a source that the District 5 officers were behind a stolen car that they had recovered. And while they were waiting either for the tow or the, or the owner, Two cars came driving up next to the squad car, one on each side. They drove directly next to the squad to pin the officers in from being able to open their door. And someone then got out and ran to the stolen car and restole it. You hear what I said? I can't make it up. Why the, why the cops were locked inside their squad car. Then all three cars drove off. Unfreaking believable. We asked the Milwaukee police spokesperson if this account was true, and he said that it was. Because, see, that was a too hard of a task for them to deal with them. Because, see, um, you know, like I said, they like to hit soft targets. Milwaukee police were recovering a stolen vehicle that was found in the 2400 block of North Buffum uh, at approximately... 12.49 p.m. This is right after noon. While on the scene, two vehicles intentionally in interfered 
and block officers that were in a patrol wagon. An occupant of one of those vehicles entered the stolen auto. All autos fled the scene and were not apprehended despite the officer's effort to, to locate them. Because all they know how to do is shoot people. That's unarmed. This is too hard. They don't want to go after the because they too bold and they don't know what the hell is on the other side of that boldness. So they let them go. I told y'all when I worked the city, you know, Jeffrey Dollar wasn't the only crazy thing that I encountered working in the city of Milwaukee. I was like, I'm a musician. What am I doing doing this? I watched the police. Actually, there were some neighborhoods they would not go. And I mean this. Some of the dudes would be sitting outside with them AK-47s, and this is just a hot summer day. They out there acting the damn fool. Some of them got on shirts. Some of them don't. You know the wild kind I'm talking about. You call the police, they never come. Just like those cab drivers, and you tell them to go to certain places in Brooklyn, in Brooklyn they wouldn't go. I don't know about now since it's been so uh, regentrified. But this right here is a story that should piss every law-abiding citizen off. And make them want to light some fire up under these cops' asses. Because getting these soft targets, that's really an insult. These are the kind of criminals that you should really, really be apprehending. Somebody so bold as to block you in or do donuts around your car while you sitting in it. Them is the ones you want to get off. But see, y'all don't want it. Y'all don't want it from them. Yeah, listen, okay, maybe I'm over-exaggerating. Y'all tell me what you think. How do y'all feel about this crazy story that I just read? Anyway, you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel, and I will see you in the next video.